Hello everybody, Cryptic here. In this video, we'll be learning how to create a top-down game. So let's get straight to the video. First, let's go ahead and create a new 2D scene. Double click and let's say world. Save this guy to the world.tscn. Then let's create a new scene. This will be our player scene. So let's go ahead and write a 2D scene or list it on other notes. So let's say rigid body. Uh, let's say kinematic body should be fine. Yeah, kinematic body should be fine. Then let's add a collision shape. I don't, I didn't forget a single bit for some reason. Okay, so let's go ahead and say player and all the kind of stuff you need to do. Go to the shape. Then let's click on this and let's go ahead and we'll be using this. Okay, so next we will be adding. Uh, we'll be uh, we 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 will be adding a new. Um, sorry. We'll be adding a new uh, sprite called and we'll be just popping up our icon here then all the other stuff going on and we'll just zoom in and then let's go ahead and put this guy over here and this is our collision box save this guy to the player.tscn okay so time to add the player.tscn here so let's go ahead and add them we'll click on the world and then click on this button and we'll have ourselves a player so this guy is our player now we need to add stuff to the player so it works so let's go ahead and go to the player right click right click let's go ahead and um, attach a script there are multiple ways to do this but we'll go we need to make sure that we are into um, uh, organizing so we need to first organize stuff so right click create a new folder called scripts then go to the scripts right click and new script here then let's say player you can say controller but we'll just make it simple and make it a player so we got ourselves a player then go to the player and let's add in the scripts we will load this guy in the scripts player and open okay so then save this guy and we have ourselves the player okay so let's go ahead and start coding uh, there's so simple stuff we need to do but there's not much to do first we need to add a export integer let's say var speed and save this guy and what's the purpose of export uh we ha i have a course go ahead and watch it if you don't understand export and all the kind of stuff i'll be not be explaining every single line in great detail because it will take a lot of time so into the players we got ourselves a sp uh, speed right here we can change it on to the inspector view so let's go ahead and go to script and uh, let's start uh, first what do we need to do in the process function we need to say um, uh, rotate get global global mouse position um okay we we will be okay we'll be coding this thing from scratch so right click let, 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 let's see what we have done first uh let's just delete this guy and what we have here is a a kinematic body with a speed and we got yourself a velocity and i created a get input function with i say this is the one of the main commands called look at this guy looks at and then say get global mouse position gets the gets the global mouse position into the screen view so let's go ahead and and see okay it doesn't work nice okay because we haven't called this guy yet so we need to call this guy by um uh we need to call this guy by using the in the physics process because what we need to do is we need to gather information about the physics not into the every single not every single frame but every single physics frame of the game for every single physics frame this function will be called with the delta so we need to get the input because we need to do all of this stuff here and then we just say velocity move and slide velocity to move this is the way to move use using the velocity so um if you didn't if you haven't understand this guy yet i'm going to explain first we just say input dot is actions press down now what is this down thing let's go to the project project settings and then let's say where is it input input map and input map i have if i search for down 
there is nothing okay so there is nothing called down we need to set this guy over here so let's see info does gonna get, get access down and then it is up okay so let's go ahead and do that so we will go to same settings and we have down right and what we need to do is just say add and we need to bind the key so for the down key what we can do here is let's say um, a key let's use s as the down key and we need to add another one as well so for the up we will use the w key key and then w and okay so is it down is it enough okay all right so this is how you do the input.x action pressed what will do it will do it would go here and go to the go here and try to find it down if it finds down then we know that it it can detect the specific key that this guy has attributed to then this guy will run and we are, what are we doing we are saying that velocity is zero this is zero this is zero by the way so we will set the velocity to velocity vector 2 minus the amount of speed into the x axis uh, to actually move uh, to actually move to the uh, opposite direction because x um, x minus equals to the going to the opposite direction and this is going to the positive direction so and then we use the rotated function and takes the rotation so rotation is our this is a, a constant it basically it does it takes the rotation of our movement and depending on that we set the velocity so if you didn't understand any of that go ahead and watch my courses uh, i have one for free you can go ahead and watch them the link will be in the description uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here and what we're doing we're just inversing because down if it if down is minus we need to obviously the up will be positive so say and the same thing going on then in the process function, we are calling this and we are just setting the velocity to move and slide. This is how you move and saying the velocity. So let's go ahead and uh, save this guy and let's see what happens. And as you can see, our player moves. And uh, uh, I can move, if you hit a W, you can move the player. Um, there's uh, another functionality I wanna add, which is going to the left and the right direction. Let's go ahead and do that as well. So, um, and let's go ahead and copy paste to this guy. And let's say left. We need to do all of this again, obviously. So left meaning is go ahead, going to, here uh, we would say zero because, and then we would say uh, left, right? So minus speed, I think. Uh, yeah. Then uh, we would do is go ahead and paste this guy here and say right and paste this guy over here. I know I'm doing a little bit hurry because there is a lot of stuff to do in this project and I want to make sure it's as um, clean as possible. So, um, so let's go ahead and just say positive. Okay, we need to do the left and right things as well. Let's go to the project settings and do the left as well. So let's say left. And left is bound by our A key. And let's do right as well. Right. And right is bound by our right is by D key. Right key. Okay, done. And, and let's go ahead and test it. I may be wrong, but as you can see, it rotates to the particular movement. If you don't want that, if you want just a constant movement, what we'll do is go to here and instead of rotation, what we'll do is just say remove this guy from here and from here. Because it, we don't need to take the particular rotation to move. We just need to move. We don't care. Uh, okay, so it's is it inversed? Is it inversed? Okay, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of works. Okay, it is depending on this guy right here. It, 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 it's dependent on this guy. So um, it's going up and down. And okay, so we can do that. Let's go ahead and do that. I think we need to minus something. Uh, in the next video, we'll try to actually complete the 
of our player controller and what I really want you to do is instead of this, this guy create uh, create your own sprite or download from the uh, internet a, a shooter guy a shooter guy you can download and then play around with it and do some stuff with it so thank you for watching I will see you in the next video